River Sockeye Salmon Run. Stunning. How does the run look this year? Very bad. Really? Yeah. You you're serious? Because everyone is saying it's four years it's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to minimum 500,000, maximum 1.4 million. I think we just reached 100,000 and it's ending already. It's that's, ending? For the, that's for the Scotch Creek though. Yeah. You realize okay. it's oh, Scotch okay. Creek. Adams okay. Most, is, most um, of the media that you're hearing about is on the Adams run. Which yeah. just right. And that's 8 to 12 million estimate. Eight low, twelve high. Wow. But I would imagine it's going to show the same effect as this then. Right? Probably very similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. And then the Seymour Arm, I think they got oh, thirty thousand. That's it. Wow. From what I heard. That's frightening. So something happened. Yeah. Fukushima. You think so? A lot of stuff. Well, they opened the factors, fishery right? too long down on the commercial side. Yeah. yeah. And there was going to be lots of fish. Yeah. And I think they overfished it. Oh, Still, I have to just say, it's oh, beautiful to see them. them. Just get right in yeah. Just yeah, I well, actually, we do have right underwater, underwater cameras. If we can put them into there the water, would that be all right? Probably about 10 beds. Bill yeah, isn't battered up or anything. Okay. He hasn't gotten any kind of fights or anything. And he's just now partnered, or not just now, but he's partnered up with one of these females back here. But this big buck right in front of him is kind of territorial of that area already, so you see okay, it quite near. Yeah, it does well, they're biting uh, Aaron's waders. Oh, really? But I don't want to have that experience. I hate coming over here. Bring the car back and bring the underwater and camera. And they're all, all along, and you're just like, I have a Because even just putting it in like, here, the yes. sun is perfect. Yeah, because they just bump into you, hey? No, they bite you. Yeah. The fish bite you? Yeah, and you're over here. Yeah. If, if we walk near their female or whatever, yeah. the male will go after you. On the way down here, I was just thinking what an amazing thing the salmon are. And, and you know, people talk about the chicken. What came first, the uh, chicken or the egg? Well, what came first, the salmon or the egg, the roe? Mm -hmm. And why do they, like... There's so many beautiful streams. Why do they return to the very same stream that they start from? I mean, it's uh, wait, is there a? They really don't know. Scientists haven't found technicians, biologists. We've studied for quite some years now, right? Since the textbooks have actually started being printed, and we really don't know yet. They think that it's a it's a it's a hormone mechanism that's embedded in them from the time they're born. Yeah just like it is for you to go and do some of the things as a human would. Yeah. It's just what they do. And the smell of the river, or the smell of the, the, the yeah, actual the lake that they come from, is what triggers that mechanism. Yeah. That's what they're Yeah, doing. I just, I, I have such difficulties at times with evolution that how I think... Do you know, how do you know it's time to have a kid? Yeah. How do you know it's time to be with your partner? Yeah. How do you know it's time to do anything? I think the fish know just when it's time to do that, just like we as humans know in our yeah. time. This is such a beautiful spot you have here. It's beautiful, yes. There, have you seen bears around? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I've seen one really big one. It was about a month ago. And then after yeah. that, just smaller ones. But yeah, you'd think there'd be a lot of bears, the way we usually get bears. Beavers? That little blind beaver is here around? Yeah, there's uh, two twins, or there's oh. twins yeah. around here, and uh, one was eating a fish. Yeah. Uh, do you get eagles around here feeding on them too, or lots? Yeah, uh, sprays, um, those seagull, shithawks, rufus, the cougars, just me. Most <laughs> <laughs> fierce, fierce the one, eh? Yeah, look out. <laughs> Is this First Nations land here? You don't find the water too cold? No, oh, it's freaking cold. <laughs> so, I, I just had my waders on. I just put my shorts on because yeah. it's supposed to get hot here. Yeah. Yes, it's too hot today. Yeah. Oh, look at the fish. He's, he's kind of stuck by the fence over there. Let's try to 
Incredibly beautiful. Well, I'm shorter than you. So it probably would be up to your ankle. So I'm just kidding. It's up here on me. Do you know any legends about the salmon from the First Nations perspective? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I know about our ceremony when we take the first salmon from this creek. We um, take it back to the to the reserve, to the community, and we cook it over a fire. And then one of the elders or the storytellers will gather all of us together and we'll share stories about Sinclep and Spalox and um, about how the fish came to be and why they went into the water. And I can't remember the whole story. <laughs> but Sinclep is a trickster. He's a coyote. Oh, and yeah. And Spalox is a black bear. That's our people. And how they all decided um, how the earth was going to be and Squalox said he didn't like to be in the daylight all the time, so he created night. And Sinclap, the coyote, said he likes the darkness. So they had to battle over that for a very long time until they came finally after days and days and maybe months. They decided, you get 12 hours of day and I get 12 hours on this side to be the, the PM. It was kind of neat with that, and then I can't remember how the, <laughs> the swell yeah. comes into it. But so after storytelling, um, everybody gets a little piece of salmon, and from the youngest who eats it to the oldest person, we have to make sure that we gather every bone from that fish and put it in a, a container. And we take that and we do our prayers for it and we bring it right back here and every bone has to go back into the water to make sure that the salmon come back and we offered it back to where it first came. Is salmon still an important... Uh... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't really get that much. I usually get a lot, but yeah. when I'm working here, I can't really harvest them. Yeah. So then when it's time to harvest, I'm just so tired. 4 a.m. to noon. Oh my gosh. And then next week I'll be here noon to 8 p.m. Your name? Wow. Tess. Tess. Nice to meet you, Tess. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Hi. Thank you. And thank you for looking after this yeah. irreplaceable resource. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so where do you want to go? Yeah, and you'll see them all along the fence. I fell in the one. I didn't realize how deep they were because yeah. I was going to get like one of these. Out. And then I stepped off and I didn't realize how deep they dug that. Yeah. I just, thought, I just don't fell in. So just about where she is, Cindy. Yeah. And if you point it towards the fish here, they got a nest. You think that has spawned already? Yeah. This one has. So I'm going to... Send it down there, yeah. where those other fish are on the beach, okay. yeah. and we're going to cut its tail off and throw it back over, because that just shows that this salmon's already been through the fence and counted. Yes. So when the tail's cut off and it's over there, so the fish that have died on this side, it won't get counted with those ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're already dead. We're not killing live fish. Yeah. Right. Their tails right. Off. Yeah. This is dead, so oh, it's four stats, right? Yeah. Okay. So where do you want me? Yeah, no, we're not going to bother them at all. Anything. Are you freezing? <laughs> okay, yeah, he does look pretty healthy. Bring the car back and bring the underwater to me, please. Because even just putting it in here, the yeah. sun is perfect.
there.